Hi, I'm Betty Kaufman, and I'm an independent wine consultant with Wine Shop at Home. In my blog article the other day, I talked about the benefits of blind wine tasting. Today, I thought I would do a quick demo. So here we have our first bottle we're going to try, bottle A. I've already poured myself a little sip, and I get to look at the red wine. I see it's a red wine. I note that the color is kind of a cherry rhubarb color. I'm going to smell the wine very quickly and now I'm going to swirl it. Here I'm aerating the wine and bringing the aromas to the surface. Now I'm going to smell more carefully. Okay, I get a lot of dark berry in this wine. Blackberry, black cherry, um, some plum, maybe a hint of raspberry. And now I'm going to taste the wine. I'm going to sip it, savor it, and swallow it. I'll start by putting a fairly large amount in my mouth. I'll move the wine around my mouth for a few seconds, and then I'll swallow. Okay, on the taste, I get a lot of mirroring of the aromas. So I get a lot of blackberry, a lot of black cherry, some plum. I also get quite a bit of spice, namely black pepper. Another observation I have is I can see that the finish, what happens in my mouth after the wine goes down, goes on and on, and it's very lively. So some really interesting things to note. Now, if this were a blind tasting, we would try to figure out what we're tasting. But because I did this video, I know what we're tasting, so I will reveal it here. We're tasting a Zinfandel. This is actually one of Wine Shop at Home's Zinfandels. What I hope this demonstration showed you is how when you're doing a blind wine tasting, when you don't know what wine you're drinking, it allows you to really approach the tasting in a very zen-like way where you're just observing everything you're experiencing without assigning any kind of positives or negatives to it. If I knew this were a Zinfandel, and I loved Zinfandel, I'd be looking for all the reasons why I love Zinfandel. And likewise, if I didn't care for Zinfandel, but here, because I don't know what kind of wine it is, I get to approach it in a very methodical, uh, objective way. And I think that's just a really, really good thing to do with wine tasting. So cheers to you, and cheers to having many more very fun blind wine tastings.